So this curriculum challenges us to make sense out of mathematical patterns by utilizing the tools of algebra. Today we're going to explore some patterns and see if we can justify them by manipulating them like we have um, with some of the mindful manipulations we've done before. So the first exercise, we're going to choose any number. So create the sum of two more than three times the number with no less than two times the number and what patterns is true of the result. That might seem like it's a completely foreign language, but when we start breaking it down, hopefully it will start to make more sense. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, let's look at if they choose the number three. So we take the number three and create the sum of two more than three times the number. So we need to do three times that number and then two more than that. So that is our first sum. And then we have to add with that two less than two times the number. So two times the number, two less than. So what we have here is we have the sum of our first number and our second number. So the first one, three times three is nine. Nine plus two is 11. And then two times three is six. Six minus two is four. So our answer is 15. So now we're just going to pick some random numbers and see if we can figure out what is going on with them. So let's pick four. If I have three times four plus two plus two times four minus two. So this becomes 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, and 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 2 is 6, 14 plus 6 is 20. I want you to see if you can figure it out with some more numbers. So if we have 5 and 6, go ahead and pause now and see if you can figure it out. All right, for 5, it's 3 times 5 plus 2 plus 2 times 5 minus 2, which becomes 15 plus 2, which is 17, plus 2 times 5 is 10, 10 minus 2 is 8. Add those together and you get 25. For 6, it's 3 times 6 plus 2, plus 2 times 6 minus 2. 3 times 6 is 18, 18 plus 2 is 20. 2 times 6 is 12, 12 minus 2 is 10, Two pl 20 plus 10 is 30. And then let's look again at um, the original 3, and it became 15 from up above. So what's going on? When we go from 4 to 20, what happens? And then 5 to 25, what happens? 6 to 30, what happens? 3 to 15, what happens? What you'll notice is that each one of those was five times the original. So the result equals five times the original. So we're going to take the information we just did and prove that you see it will always be true. So instead of putting in a number, we're going to use the letter x. So it's the sum of three times a number plus two and two times that number minus two. So now we need to do the distributive, or not the distributive property, we need to combine like terms to find out what our answer will be. Will be. So I have three x and two x makes five x. And then I have positive 2 and negative 2, which becomes 0. So our answer is just 5x. So 5 times the original. If n represents a number, which of the following expressions results in the sum of 1 more than twice the number and 3 less than 5 times the number? So we need to write out each part of this. So sum of, so sum of meaning we're going to add, and we have two things that we're going to add together. The first one is one more than twice the number, so twice the number plus one, 
And the next part is 3 less than 5 times the number. So 5 times the number minus 3. We're going to combine like terms. So 2x and 5x becomes 7x. And then we have 1 and negative 3 combined to make negative 2. Um, obviously, I used the wrong variable there. But number 1 is the one that matches. 7n minus 2 or 7x minus 2. So when you have multiplication brought in, there might be some more interesting things that can happen. So in this problem, we're going to explore a calculation of the difference. Remember that difference means subtraction. So the difference between the product of a number and a number 5 larger than it and the product of a number and a number 5 less than it. Will it reveal a pattern like the last one? So before we write with a variable, we're going to just plug in some numbers. So if we take the product of a number, let's choose the number 10, and a number 5 larger than it. So 5 more than 10 is 15. So we're finding the difference of the product of a number and 5 less than it. So if I pick 10, 5 less than that would be 5. 10 times 15 is 150. 10 times 5 is 50. So my answer becomes 100. So if I plug 10 in, 100 is my result as shown up above. Then we're going to look at 6. So if I take 6, and a number 5 more than that would be 11. Subtract 6. And a number that's half of that would be... Sorry, not half of that. 5 less than that is 1. So now I have 66 minus 6, which is 60. All right, next one. If I pick the number 8. So 8... And a number 5 more than that is 13 minus 8. And a number 5 less than that is 3. So now I have 104 minus, minus, oopsies, minus 24. And 104 minus 24 is 80. And let's pick an easy one. Let's say that we do 2. So 2 times a number 5 more would be 7, minus 2 times a number 5 less would be negative 3. 2 times 7 is 14, minus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, which means I actually have a double negative, so it's 20. So the pattern for that one is you went from 10 to 100, and 6 to 60, and 8 to 80, and 2 to 20. So it's actually 10 times the original. So let's look at if we were to use a, the letter X instead of a number, what would that look like? So we're going to take a number and multiply it by a number plus 5 and then subtract a number and a number minus 5. So we're going to need to do the distributive property. So I have x times x which is x squared and then x times 5 which is 5x. But then this negative is actually attached to the x. So negative x times x is negative x squared. And negative x times negative 5 is positive 5x. So we're going to combine like terms. x squared and negative x squared. Those actually cancel each other out. And then we have 5x plus 5x is 10x. So 10 times the original.